Now here's a cracking machine isn't it? It's one of the two that I've just got recently. It's a Bally. Beautiful machine. Electromechanical. Um, didn't work when I first got it but I think that could have happened in transport because the way these things are built. They, they're made fairly easy to work on and whatever if there's any problems but um, the uh, the idea is you can pull the reels out, if you the reel mech out if you want to, but it disconnects from a plug at the back. And it's the same with the power hopper at the bottom, exactly the same. You've got to um, you pull it out and it disconnects. So those connectors at the back, if they get any corrosion or anything like that, they can cause problems. And you can't get to them to do anything really, <laughs> other than give them a clean and uh, hope for the best. But these have come up alright. I've given them a spray and uh, worked them about a bit, cleaned the prongs up. And it seems to be working 99% of the time now, so the uh, it wouldn't take any coins at first. And I found that was um, there's a lockout coil that um, if you put a coin in and then you put another coin in afterwards, it locks that coin out and it just falls back out again. Well, that was stuck out all the time, so it was locking, letting all the coins straight out. So I've took that off because it doesn't really need it. I mean, it's not going to be using an arcade ever again, so at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. And it doesn't affect any play. So uh, anyway, shall we have a few goes on it and see how we get on? And then I can show you a little bit of the insides and what have you. Let's have a play. Oh, we've got a win. Look at that. I mean, sometimes it, 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 these don't seem to be very popular all the time. Like, I think they're lovely machines. Um, I do like all machines, to be honest, but... But I do like these ballys, and I like it because of the way these reels settle. They're, they're, it's the way it, they're all pretty much the same. Really. Lovely movement. I wonder if we'll get any wins. We had a win there, didn't we? Eight pence. But what a lovely way these settle. The only thing I've got left to do on this one is the... Uh, Quite the, the, the reels are slightly over to that side, so they're not dead central to this glass. And from looking at the glass, the glass looks to be fairly central, so it doesn't appear to be like there's no real adjustment on them. And I think what's causing it is there's uh, on the, the arm mechanism at the side here, the plates and whatever, there's a bit it's rusted a bit in between and pushed it pushed it a little bit apart. And I think it's forced it over to one side very slightly. But I'm not too fussed about that, but I can do that. I can sort that out another time. But as far as I'm concerned at the moment, it's working absolutely lovely. Ooh. It must be so, you know, to get that, this, this is another problem. There's some of these coins are either, they've been clobbered and they're a bit thicker than normal. Or... Uh, they're just, some are thicker than others naturally, but um, there's a few of them that struggle to get through this slot. Might be the slot tolerance is not very good. But how lovely. What a beautiful thing. And what I'll do is I'll open her up and we'll have a look inside. Let me just, if I move the camera around a bit so we get a better view of the inside in a minute. Is that going to stay there? Right, let's have a look. I actually took the reels out to do the work on it. But can you see... there we go. This top mechanism here, that's all the reel mechanism. And all you do is you pull these two levers down here, and you pull the whole mechanism out. It just unplugs from the back, which is that's how it disconnects the electrics and everything. And you do whatever servicing you need to do, and simply push it back in again, put those back in place, and it's all set and done. The front door unplugs up the top there. There's a Jones plug, similar to what they used in the old pinball machines years ago. That's the way that's connected. And the bottom here has got a handle on it, and all you do is simply pull the whole mechanism out. It takes a bit of a tug because it plugs in well at the back. But there's your <clears throat> two possibilities of a problem, never mind all the switches that's on it. Although they seem to be fine on it, you know, there's none of those seem to be a problem on it. So I'm very pleased with it. If I can show you, I can probably show you. Let me just... That's disconnected. Now that would pull right out. You can take it, put it on a worktop and off you go. And then when you've done it, 
and so if you put it back in again, make sure it's pushed back, and put those levers back up there, and it's back together and away you go. And all you do then is put a coin in, fix the switch, and away we go. And these, along with all, all bandits really, the old electro and mechanicals and whatever, you've got your little fan down there which slows the mechanism down so that everything is on timed. There's a few little bits of electrics in there, but nothing major. There's a relay at the top there, another little coil there, look. And all that coil does, when you put your coin in, that coil, I'll see if I can show you, let me just trip the switch. If you watch that coil, it'll come down, and that's blocking this lever here from going that way, so when you pull the handle, that's trying to go forward, but it can't do. So, up it goes, it's released again by another little prod, and away we go. Isn't that lovely? What a beautiful machine. Now the coin acceptor, I had trouble with that at the start, as I say. I have cleaned it all out and got it all working perfectly, but I've had to take a little cut a little piece out of this little plate here because this little lever here is supposed to go and that lets the coin through at the end while well, it couldn't move because it was stuck against this so I've cut a piece out of there so that works and also there was a piece of metal on a coil behind there which put a little bar through that hole and if you put a coin in the coil would release and it would leave the bar through there so when the next coin went in it would just come straight out and back into the hopper into the um, payout at the bottom so you wouldn't lose your coin sort of thing although now it's too bad you uh, you know it's going to go through every time and you've lost it <laughs> so because if you've already got one credit you can't really have another one you see without playing one off but other than that what a lovely machine nicely made all the fuses and everything they're at the back, and you can see them. There's all your fuses for the different voltages and what have you. There's a great big transformer behind here, which gives you your lower voltage. I don't know whether you can see that. You'll probably see that around there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And the next project is obviously the other one that I was working on. Let me see if we can show you that bit. We're going out a bit of a focus here. It's this terrible camera again. There we go, we're back in focus. Now this is a different kettle of fish. I'm not 100% sure if there's something missing off this, I'm guessing there is. Um, got it all working nearly perfectly, um, other than I don't think the payout sliders are original or there's something been done to them, because the machine's actually got on the actual front, you've got one, two, three, four, five different payouts possibilities, and you've only got three sliders and only two of the sliders have got release bars at the back. <laughs> so I'm wondering how the Alec can pay out five different payouts with that. So anyway, I'm going to have to check all that through. Everything else is there complete, which is fantastic. All the hammers are there for the payouts. The only thing is down at the bottom there is the bars that release for the sliders to release the coins and whatever. Other than that, it's lovely. It's spot on. These are so well made. They're all and it's cast iron frames. You've got all hardened steel. Um, workings and what have you so they were built there was a chap on YouTube I think he's a I forget his name now but he's on YouTube he does uh, restores one arm bandits and things does a fantastic job um, and he actually sells them as well from what I've seen and um, he gives a lifetime guarantee with them because he says after about 50 years of use of some of these machines are like 50 years old or more they're about 20% through their wear so <laughs> unless they've been seriously badly abused or damaged in any way they should last a lifetime, really, to be honest, shouldn't they? So, I'm absolutely amazed. The condition of these cabinets is beautiful. The chrome is absolutely wonderful on them. I'm very pleased. I mean, considering how old these are, and it's probably never been re -chromed, so... But when you look at this one, for instance, this bally, I mean, if I pull the door back round again, and I'll show you that, the, the chrome, it, you know, minor pitting, but compared to some machines, it's absolutely beautiful. You look at the lovely shine on that, absolutely gorgeous. I love it. And it's a it's an absolutely cracking machine. So what I'm gonna do, we'll have a few more goes. What time are we at now? Nine minutes. Right, we'll have a few more goes. See if we can get any more wins. Let's have a go. But what a lovely machine. I'm very pleased with these two.
see another sticky coin. Don't want those. Keep them here. Now the jackpot on this is one pound fifty. Would you believe it? Now because it's not, it doesn't use sliders. They can do this sort of thing. I mean, they, if you saw the video I put on of the machine that I did it restored for a friend a few weeks ago, that had a, a payout. Funk, uh, uh, jackpot uh, feature on the front of the thing like which released all the coins in that if you got the jackpot which if you saw that when I, I pulled the jackpot on that it released all the coins which I think there was 23 in the payout tube um, where the slides are plus all the coins that was in the front and they were all sixpences that's two and a half p each like the tiny little things and it released all of those and there was quite a pile in there when it um, when you got the jackpot so if you'd have won that back in the day you'd have better everybody around you you know, what are you going to buy me a pint or something like that because <laughs> it was a lot of money back then. Now, this one because it's on a it's a payout hopper, it's a basically a disc with pig pegs on it, and the coins are all just shoved in there, just any old how. And as it turns, it collects the coins one at a time round the edge in like a, one after the other, all round the edge. And then as they come round the top, they go past the thing which clicks to for how many. You know, each time it goes past it clicks and that's how many, you know, it counts how many coins it's uh, paying out sort of thing. So even though you've got like low winds like 4p, 8p, 16p, 32p, 50p, which is quite a lot, that would take quite a lot, you know, in the way of, because um, it's 2p play, that would take quite a lot in the way of the payout sliders and quite a mechanism. But with this, you see, with it having the hopper, you can have any amount of coins in there and a larger payout as you really want, to be honest, but, you know... £1.50, that was a big jackpot. Let me see if I can show you the £1.50 jackpot without getting coins every all over the place. So let's have a look. All I've got to do is I've got to stop the mechanism, so I'm going to do like this little lever here when that pulls down. And do like that does, and I'll pull the handle, that releases so that it can move. And all I've got to do is put the win on and watch it not pay out now. No mile, when you're trying to demonstrate that something it doesn't pay out, so I'm going to have to let it go. Oh, quick getting down there. There you go. There you go. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Come on, you've got some more coins in there, haven't you? Now, I think what we've done is we've run out of coins. Because I've got so many in the front here. What I'm going to have to do is put a load more back in, but it will try and chuck them out at me. So I'm going to have to be quick. Let's get them in. Are we ready? There we go. And I did count it yesterday when it paid out the jackpot, and there was £1.50. So. Isn't that incredible? That's £1.50 there. Now, that was a big win, wasn't it? But I don't know how long it would take to get it, because I've had to force it on every time I've put it on. But uh, if you actually played it till that came up, I would imagine you'd be here a long time. So, but what a lovely machine, isn't it? I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. As you can see in the hopper there, I don't know whether you can... Let me just quickly show you, we've got a few seconds left. If I show you the actual payout hopper, all it is, it's kind of like a meat slicer. Where are we? In the wrong part. It's kind of like a meat slicer. And all it is, the pegs around the edge there, coins collect as it goes round, and then as it comes to the end here, it goes past a little thing there which goes up and down as the coin goes through, and that counts how many coins has gone. So, how amazing, isn't it? Incredible. Can you see in there? Look, there we go. Now, that would normally be full of coins, but as I'm the key man, as Rob would probably tell you, there's never any money in them. <laughs> well, there is actually, but you know, just joking. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, let's put this cover back on again and have a look how beautiful it is again. Because I do love these machines. I don't know why. It, I don't know whether it's just me, but I, it, they don't seem to be as popular as uh, as some of the machines. But I think they're lovely. I mean, look at it. It's a thing of beauty. Very heavy though. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that video, and uh, watch out for the next one. Cheers for now. Bye.